Well, I think I'm alright. What have you achieved? It's me, it's me, it's your favourite today. Um, I know it's pretty late. Actually, I don't even know what time it is. What time is it? It's quarter past ten. I'm not expecting anybody to catch this live. But I thought I'd go live just in case anybody was up and about. Um, I picked up a few bits and bobs from the charity shop on, I think it was Friday, no? It was the weekend at some point. And then I went to the car boot on Monday. Hi Andrew, hi Sue, hi Gemma. I didn't think anybody would be in. Hi Peter Ray. Hi Bad Biscuit. How are you? Um, yeah. So I just thought I'd show you what I got from the car boot on Monday and the charity shop on the weekend. Um, I don't think it's going to be very long. Trust me, this is better than, than what I was about to watch. Was it porn? I bet it, I bet it was porn, and I'm not better than porn, Andrew, so. Um, so, yeah. I'll show you what I've got. Hi, Bexy Fi. How are you? God, there's more people than I thought there was going to be. I think everyone's doing these late lives now, aren't they? I just thought I'd do one. Sod it. Um, Lexi's professing her love for Sue. Oh. Oh, what's that? Car in. Alright, oh, stay. I've got 20 minutes till hubby's home from work. Okay, cool. Um, this shouldn't be any longer than 20 minutes. There's not that much here. So, on the thumbnail, I was showing this. Now, I don't know whether this is like um, me croaking for alcohol, that I'm now buying alcohol crates. Um, but yeah, maybe. Or maybe I shouldn't be buying this to tempt me to end up drinking alcohol, but um, this is a Grant's Whiskey um, keg thing. So what you do is you put the bottle in there, and then it comes out the other end, and there's a tap on the inside. Um, they go for about 30 to 35 quid. I'm shooting for 30 because it's got a bit of rust on it, but it cost me a tenner, so 10 into 30, I yeah, bad. Let's have a look. Hi, Phoebe, man, everybody. You're going to do some shots, Steve? No, I'm not. <laughs> Hello, Karen. Man. God, there's a lot of people in here. How's your holiday, Karen? Man, there's a lot of people. Keyword, angel, share. Um, Hi Claire Sheen. God, there's a lot of people in. So yeah, that's my first one. Uh, yeah, this one was on about the other day when I was watching Money Mental UK's video uh, when he was on about games. These were going for 20p each, so I thought, fuck it, take a pun. Um, I've got to start learning about games somewhere. They're all PS2 games. They only cost me 20p each. Um... What beer are you brewing today? It's all water here, um, all water here, Pete. Whiskey in the barrel dissolves. The amount that goes is called. I don't know. Why do you know that, Lex? But anyway, yeah, found out none of these games are worth particularly amount of money. They're worth more than twenty p, so I'll list them. But there was one that was worth seven, um, and then the rest of them were like two or three quid. There was no money in them whatsoever. Um, there's no sleep in the recently world. Tomorrow morning, Gemma going. Ooh, I'll catch that then, Karen. I've got the kids tomorrow. Hi, Dazza. Man, everyone's around. So, yeah, no money in them. I'll see if I can show you the names. But, yeah, don't try and find those names in charity shops or cupboards because there's no money in them. I think. Where is it? I think that 18 wheeler was about seven quid. But. I'm not 100%. But yeah, going by my um, buy ugly because it sells. These are some tartan trousers. That's the brand. The brand is Relco London. I um, only cost me two quid. They should go for about 25. So yeah. Oh, I think I've told well, you know, I think I've told you before. Um. I think I learned this from Carla, just buy ugly because it always sells, and these were ugly as shit, 
So I bought these. And I think it's 25 quid for these. Two pound into 25, I hate to pay it. Bundle the low price ones, buddy. Do I have to? Does time splitters need a gun? Haven't got a clue. <laughs> I'm not testing them. For 20p, do a bundle on the games. Hi Simon Campbell. Do, do, do. Model the trousers. They are not ugly. <laughs> I'd wear our guys out. Everyone's loving them. Hands up, who's sitting in bed. Um, cool. Um, what was next? Ah uh, yeah. Oh yeah, so this is all from this was all from Friday and Saturday. Bloody curtain. If you I don't want my neighbours seeing me do live on the internet. Um next were these cargo bike trousers. Um I've picked up leather bike trousers before that end up selling for about um I think it was the ones that I sold sold for eighty five. I've got some that were like must have been a cheaper brand that have sold for fifty. These cost me a tenner. The brand is Spada. I don't know. I don't know how you pronounce it. I want to say Sparta, but I don't think it's Sparta. It's Spada. Um, these cost me a tenner. I think it's about 40 quid for these. They're in pretty good condition. Um, but yeah, it's like camouflage kind of thing on them. It's lovely. But yeah, um, I think it was about 40, 40 for these from a tenner. Can't complain. Well, I've got very little space. Yeah, I thought there was better doing them here than in the kitchen. Um, we've had some work done in the kitchen today, so I didn't want to show. My theory is, if I hate an item in clothing that much, someone will love them. Yeah, that's my thing. Um, I just look at them and go, oh, God, that's ugly. They are ugly as shit. Like those trousers. Um, put golf in your Relco trousers listing. Thank you very much, Bobby. Um, how's your leather jackets going, stay? <laughs> I, I, did I show you in a video? I know it might be in here actually. I've got a nice leather jacket. I'll actually stay around and I'll show you. <laughs> I think you mean Bobby Peter, but I like Hey Booby. Um, right. There we go. Well, I'll save that. Um, yeah. This cost me one pound fifty um, off the sales rack. rack. It's an M&S jacket. Um, I searched sand for the colour because it was either yellow or sand. But yeah, fifteen for that. Nothing amazing. But it only cost me one pound fifty. Um, leave that to last. Leave that to last. What are these? Oh, uh, another fifteen. Uh, one pound fifty jacket. Fifteen ramen originals. Ah, yeah. I picked this up because I had hard, some Hard Rock hard rock Cafe t-shirts. I had about three of them. And they sold pretty quickly. They only cost me a pound. They sold for 15. Um, this is Ibiza Rocks from Ibiza Rocks in Ibiza. I've only been to Ibiza once. It was with kids. I couldn't go clubbing. I was good. Tired. <laughs> Any Ben 10? No, Lex, unfortunately. All right, Matt, how you doing, mate? Hello, Claire James. Um, really shouldn't be eating at this time. I try not to eat after eight o'clock. That's my new um diet regime. I've been, man, I've been on it today. I've not ate since eight o'clock, which has been. I'm only drinking water. I went for a three mile run today, and I've just done some weights. I mean, specimen is the word I'm thinking of. Um, yeah, so that I'd be for rocks that I'll go for about 15. Now, this is watching Lex video, Lexi's videos and um, Karen's videos about dresses and stuff. Um, I won't do this again. These are complete duds. They're not worth near the money that I've even paid for them, but I'm going to shoot for a ten on each of them. But this is buying. This is looking at funky dresses because I've seen them on people's videos. Um, so um, yeah, this one. The only reason why I got this is because it looked like something off Austin Powers. I thought, look at that. It's ugly. It's Austin Powers. It's all floral, nineteen sixties. 
Um, it cost me a fiver. I thought it would go for more. It doesn't really go for any more than a tenner, really. Um, I don't know why. I, I, there was just I didn't. There wasn't a lot around on Friday, and I just decided. Eggs for a TV unit, nice. Still looking forward to the next lads live. Um, yeah, yeah. If if I'm on, um, I, I I don't know if Andrew saw my message earlier, but um, message me if you need me. I think we're up to ten, aren't we? Up to ten people. I think ten people on one live would be chaos. Go on, Matt. Just gonna have to wait yourself. Um, yeah, I think it's like up to ten people. Um, if Matt joins us, I think that's eleven. So it's like, man. Um, yeah. I don't know. I I, I don't want to get in the way of other people going on. So give me a shout if you need me. <laughs> um yeah, but yeah. So you're saying it's more than a tenner. The brand is glamorous, which is a pain in the ass to search because as soon as you search anything with glamorous, people have used it as a keyword. So that was a night nightmare on it. Matt the ladies want to know when you're going to do a live. Um that would look great with my hair, what brand? Glamorous. Um you're subject to conversation, Matt since our wolves live. Ooh. Oh, hi, shiver me timbers tat. That's got to go for at least 15. Um, yeah, the, the brand's glamorous. It just, it's hard to find anything. JD, can you try it on for us, Steve? I think it's your colour. <laughs> nah. Um, don't put brand name in the title. Say retro floral. Okay. But yeah, that cost me a fiver. I just thought, it's like a kind of mini. It's like a mini skirt. But when I looked at it, I thought... Man, that's some weirdo <coughs> like Lex would um would wear that. And then the next one again, equally as ugly. But I think this one was going for less than a tenner. And the brand is Best Connections. Cost me three quid. It's a pretty long dress. It goes from here, and then it's all the way down here. So it's a pretty big, ugly goddamn dress. But I think, is it Maxi, do you call them? I don't know. But yeah, it's watching too many ladies, ladies and um, clouding halls that got me buying them. But yeah, again, I, I, I'm not 100%. I, I think I mentioned in one of Karen's videos the other week asking, um, like, with some of the ladies clouding, is it more to do with the style than the brand? So maybe it is. Uh, the dress is 60s cut. Is that that floral one? Aztec Ethnic Festival Maxi. Model it, not happening. <laughs> um, Got to do one soon. May need some Dutch courage. <laughs> I was going to say, Matt, I, was, um, I mentioned it in Peter's live. Next time we go to a car boot, we'll go live from your van. Um, right, so yeah, yeah. So uh, with them dresses, I have no clue. The ladies in the chat seem to think they'll go for more. But yeah, Lex, aka the keyword queen, she did say when I was doing the when we did the live, um, when we did the live from the pub, um, Lex did message me and say I need to go through your keywords on your clothing. <laughs> How's the not drinking going? Um, I've only sucked about three bar mats and punched four walls, so I'd say, I'd say it's alright. If Steve and Matt go live together, the super chats will roll in. <laughs> nah. Um, right, what's next? Ah, uh, yeah. Again, this was, these are a bit of a dud. <laughs> These are, close, these are close to Ben 10, actually, Lex. These are WWE figures. Um, these three cost me a pound. I only picked them up because it was like, cost me a pound. Um, if you ever see any wrestling figures that have... This is Hunter Hearst Helmsley. He's Triple H. If you will, Hey, I'm a keyword for... I'm a keyword king for wrestling. His name's Hunter Hearst Helmsley, but his name's now Triple H in wrestling. Um, he'll go for about a tenner because he's got the clothing. And like the extra bit. 
He's worth absolutely jack shit. He's Adam Rose. He's worth three quid if I'm lucky. Um, this is an Undertaker figure. Um, when I originally saw it, I thought, Matt will know this, I thought this was, oh, I've got a super chat. Who's giving me a super chat? Where'd that come from? Oh, thank you very much, Shivy Me Timbers Tat. Tell you what's hilarious with that super chat. I don't know if anybody can help me, but I think I had some super chats the other day, and they don't seem to have added to my total. I think you get $60 and you can draw it out or something. Oh, right. Yeah. Right, as you're not drunk. <laughs> so I'm just going to the chat. Yeah, if you're not there before, or me, how said it as well. Me and Lex need to go live together and have a gin night where we just try different gins. Definitely. I'll definitely watch that. Yeah, live from the van with Lex and DVD tuning at this time. <laughs> I'll give you 20 if you lock beards. <laughs> da da da. That beanie is legendary. It swaps every time. I mentioned this in the chat the other day. I buy them every every month. They are the same. They're from the same place. But this is this is an old one. I haven't got rid of. It's not the Matrix. So this is only a couple of. It's about a week or two old. Yeah. But um, as Matt would know, they had the old Mattel ones back in the nineties. I think it's Mattel. What's this one? Or is it Hasbro? No, this is Mattel, so I think the old ones are Hasbro. This is designed as the old Hasbro ones. Correct me if I'm wrong, Matt. These are designed like the old Hasbro ones, and then they've reissued these in the kind of style of the modern wrestlers. Um, but this one is worth eight quid. This hat doesn't come off or anything, but it is worth eight quid. Um, there was a massive box of wrestling figures, 50p each, last time I was at the charity shop, but didn't have a clue. Ah, thank you, Matt. Um, yeah. It, I won't get into wrestling figures, to be fair. If you don't know, it's really a pain in the arse to get. Like, I've got some figures in there which are a bit of a pain in the arse. Matt and Steve talking about wrestling figures, definitely a video for Pornhub. <laughs> I would look much better on... Is Josh flirting with Andrew again? Or be his home, going to make him a cup of night. I'll see you later, Corey. Right. Um, uh -huh. One for Shell Steruni if she ends up watching. Um, I sold some rice oil the other day. I've I've sold three lots of rice oil in the last month. Something that Shell Steruni gives me grief on. Um, now, a little bit of a tip for people who want to look out for rice oil. Yeah, Shell the milk. This here, I don't know what this plant is. But I'm not swearing at you. I'll, I'll use that for now. This here, I don't know what plant this is. Um, but I had a message from someone the other day um, I'd sold some rice oil to them and then they sent me like a really long message saying thank you so much it was well packaged and you're an awesome eBayer and so good looking and your beard's fantastic you know all, all the regular stuff and um, they told me that this is a rare symbol when it comes to the rice oil normally it's got a dragon but if you've got this symbol it's worth a bit more money who knew? Never had a bowl this big, and your nose. There you go, Alex. Take that. Um, he's entered fancy land again. Oh, the message is here. This cost me a pound. I'll get about 15 back on this bad boy. Just this single bowl alone. It's about 8 inches. Good morning. And another one. Is that your best DJ Khaled um, impression? What we got left? These figures, which I'll go through in a bit. Right, I've got three last bits of clothing, and then I'll go through um, a big right on back. So that I've done enough today. <laughs> um, right, these are. I don't know how to say that, was it? Salapets. These are salapets. I've had these before. I always go for about 25, 
and these are the same, go for about 25 quid, they cost me 3 99 But they have got the tag on them, but with the brand, I can't they? Has it got an original price on there? No. But yeah, 3 99 these cost me. Um, it's got the dungarees thingy majigs and all that jazz. They cost me 3 99 should get 25 back on them. And then I'd say my two best finds for the clothing were these two. So I get distracted by. But is everyone now talking about my massive nose? Screw you. It's it's per it's well proportioned to my head. I still haven't listed them out across trousers I bought, I just keep wanting to wear them. Um right yeah. So Two more bits of clothing. This one I like the most, but I think the other one's worth more money. Um, it's an Adidas MBA official MBA um, jacket. It's it took me a while to work out what that symbol was. That's Miami Heat. <laughs> Miami Heat apparently. Big nose, big tissues. <laughs> yeah, Matt got it. Miami Heat. Um, this will go for about 30 quid. Couldn't find the particular jacket, but Miami Heat jackets go for about 30. It cost me four nine nine. Um Lex is very good at drawing your nose to scale. No, I'm not going to swear at you because Sue's in the chat. I'm not doing it. Oh yeah, I did notice that um, Corey and your American friend were um, live. And then the last bit of clothing. <laughs> DBG, I completely understand where you're coming from there. Seems like um, go higher on the jacket, it will probably go to Europe. Oh, cool. It was hard. I couldn't, I couldn't find that particular jacket. And then... Um, the ones that were going around, they were going abroad. Um, they were going abroad, but they were only they were only going for like twenty three, twenty five. And then I saw one that was like that that had gone for about thirty, so I thought I'd go for thirty. And and then my final one, this cost me a fiver. It is next leather. It's a ladies' jacket, so it's going to go on down a deck. But it's like a, I don't know if you can see, it's like a snake skin kind of pattern. But it's next leather, couldn't, it's not particularly going well with this curtain. Um, but yeah, it was another one where I couldn't find this particular jacket, but um, couldn't find this particular jacket, but the leather jackets were going for about 40 to 50. Model it, there's no way I'm getting in this. Um, I prefer watching the more rubbish resellers. Than the professional series ones. It just it's just constant digs, any hits in the ribs. Um, put Mick Dundee in the title. Um, yeah, but yeah, I'm gonna shoot for fifty quid on that. Sod it. It's got a belt and everything. It's kind of snake skinny kind of thingy. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, what I was saying, DBG about the American ones. I don't mind watching the American ones, but they get all like, you've got to fight for your right, you know and blah blah and motivation and don't be wrong I like a bit of motivation but yes she was talking about me Lex you were having a pop but yeah 50 quid for that one so that was all my clothing but sites um that's why you watch me then Lex um I wouldn't say that was a bad bit of clothing compared to what I normally pick up um that stream got a bit too much for me and then next, um, I've got all these for a five out. I've already separated them. Not, I'll pick out a few. Um, I picked up all these for a fiver. I thought there'd be money in them. Question, where's the bras? No bras, sorry, Andrew. Um, oh, actually, <laughs> I said on the video the other day that I was going to pick up a haul of um, Tommy Hilfiger and Ralph Lauren. Um, I've decided not to go through with it. Um, they first they were going on about it 
the stuff wasn't coming through my email and they wanted me to pay through bank transfer instead of PayPal through an invoice. Um, I nearly went through to it, but then I took some advice, and um, I've decided I decided not to go, um, not to uh, get the haul. I wouldn't I wouldn't mind it if they wanted me to pay through PayPal, but yeah, I decided not to go through with it. But I know a few people were asking me if I was going to show that haul. Um, Agree, Bex. Oh. That human is a bit much full stop. Yeah, no, Van tries to dodge it. Yeah, I, I, I asked a little bit of advice from someone and then um, spoke to the wife, and I thought, no. Glad you didn't do it today. Yeah, cheers, Lex. It was Lex, though. Um, but yeah, these are. Maybe Matt will know these. These are. Avatar, The Last Airbender figures. Um, <laughs> end up getting to like, a conversation with the lady that was selling them. She was she was like going, yeah, I used to I used to collect them when I was younger, and then like her boyfriend came over and was like, no, she brought them like about a year ago, and now she wants to get rid of them. Um, <laughs> bender, Airbender. What's wrong with saying Bender? Airbender, that wasn't a, it's not a, shark, another effing, I sure, oh sure look, another effing planet, who's gay, I ain't gay, I've got nothing against guys, I just, I need to dick, um, but yeah, these are the last airbenders, um, last airbenders, <laughs> uh, Last Airbender just sounds like... The, now, it's a cartoon on Nickelodeon, apparently. Um, you could bundle your old beanies for your scratch and sniff fans. Maybe, if, if you'd want to buy them, shiver. Um, those kids are just a cover stay. <laughs> maybe. No, it's not maybe. I each their own, but I, I love boobies. Uh, Andrew's not gay, but his boyfriend is. He's been the smell of pork. They don't smell of pork. Maybe that one. Maybe I'll, I might have had scratchings or something. Before. Anyway, last airbender figures. Right. Um, not many listed on eBay. Couldn't really get a price. Couldn't really gauge a price. Um, all the bits are with each figure. Um, looking at them, I've, have, I've had to kind of make up my own prices on them. Um, I think there's about 10 in total when I broke it down, so it ended up costing me about 50p each. Um, I'm not reading your comments anymore. Cartoon Network TV show, they then made a movie called Avatar, The Last Day. Yeah, that's the that's the one. I um, I had, I had like, um, I can't remember what it's called now. I had like a nunchuck toy that I'd sold before. I'll see you later, Peter, right? Uh, there we go, he's promoting new video at some point tomorrow of me testing a black Wii. I've got the weekend, stay safe. Yes, go on, Peter. So, yeah, these can go for, a, well, the prices I'm making up because there's not a lot in the UK. There's not there's not particularly any listed in the UK. Not many have sold. So I've kind of made up my own prices. I'm going for between 15 and 20 on each of them. Um, and they only cost me a fiver each, but they all come with their own like little bits and bobs and stuff. I don't really know a lot about them. But yeah. It might be some lady's dreams, but it's not mine, mine Andrew, I'll go say. No offence to you all, Matt. And <laughs> um, like, yeah, so they all look like this. They're all pretty, to be fair, they're all pretty like, well made figures. Um, it's not an orgy year with the two. It's under. Hi, hey, how you doing? Um, but yeah, so I think that's everything. That was everything I picked up. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was everything I picked up. So I'll stay around for a bit of a chat if you want. So there's things. Those things, Chelsea in the Europa League, if you're uh, interested. Oh, fuck, I've lost my lid.
So yeah, those things we do a lot. Oh, I've got the kids this week. It is driving. So monumental none of you are mine. Josh Martin stick. Can we stop talking? Alright, can we stop talking about orgies now? I'd rather watch Steel his own drinking tea. <laughs> Um, yeah, I've got the kids all week. I, I've, I have literally got to a point now where I've just basically gone, I need to not try and do any eBay while I've got the kids. It's just one of those things. Um, I stayed up till about one o'clock last night. I think I might stay up tonight as well. I'd rather watch Steve cry. Um, your voice is so soothing for this time of night. Oh, thank you, Bexify. It's actually, I'm trying to be quiet because the kid, my house is tiny. Um, but yeah, I've got the kids all week, so I've got to, I've just had to kind of go, right, I'm not doing any eBay or anything like that while the kids are awake because it's just absolutely pointless. They won't let me do anything. And um, you'll need, oh, for God's sake, how, how are these not getting, where? It is sexy telephone voice picks. Um, I managed to get drafts done earlier with the kids. Um, they were asleep now, so I'm editing the photos. It's like pulling teeth. Yeah, but what was mine the other day? Like, I... Normally... Normally when the kids are here, the first thing I do is I pack everything up. So I get everything out of the shed or the loft or whatever and start packaging stuff up. Then I'll, I've always got photos of stuff on my phone. So I'll start taking photos, I'll start like, you know, start listing straight away. I do like so many promos, so many um, sales per day and stuff like that. Send, do so many send um, offers to watchers at the start of the day. Um, but with my kids, I think what it is, like, Lace sits here most of the day. Well, not most of the day, but a good portion of the day, catching up on her favourite YouTubers. So she, she'll sit here, and then as soon as she's finished the video, she's like, Daddy, entertain me. She literally, Daddy, I need entertaining. So the other day, it was the second I got off the sofa and I started packaging stuff up. She was like, Dad, entertain me. And then Liam's come in, and then I just went, I'll give up. I can't get anything done. It's absolutely pointless. It's pointless me trying to get anything done. And um, Steve gets a wave of new fans into ASMR. <laughs> See, Steve, I don't just hit on the girls. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> um, you have, Andrew, you've definitely got a voice for their radio. Hi, it's Money Mental UK. Is that a sausage you've thrown around the floor? Oh, no. I bought type my flowers for the week on a Friday now. It helps big time for during the week. Um, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get into a habit of, like, this... The stuff that I've got now, I'm gonna not go to bed until I've photographed everything that I've got here, and then that will last me when I, you know, when the kids are bored of me tomorrow, I can then start listening to some stuff while they're doing something else. Most of it's daddy, look at me, daddy, daddy, look at me. Um, what she said. I missed that. Um, my face is sexy enough for any form of media as long as it's real. Give them born the sandwich and put them in the garden. Um, it, I, I, what was it? I think it was Tuesday. I opened the back door. I let them run free in the garden, and it was they were out there. It was every two minutes they were in. Dad, Dad, Dad. D Liam fell over, and then I go outside and Liam's absolutely fine. He did fall over though, and I'm like. Unless he's bleeding or he's crying, he don't need to come and get me. <laughs> um, someone needs to do a meetup near me. Where do you live, Bex? For does anyone know if there is a podcast for reselling but a UK one? Um, didn't fake Rachel used to do a podcast? I swear fight right what used to do a podcast. Do 
do, do, do. That's one like, oh, unless there's blood, I don't care. Yeah, exactly. Unless one, of, unless there's a bone showing or one of you are bleeding. Steve, you need a puppet on that right hand. Why? Am I, am I doing that? I do a lot of hand gestures. Hi, Nick, how you doing? Yeah, it's the light one. I've already done the haul. Sorry, mate. <laughs> um, also, I think Lex and Josh are doing gin tasting on the weekend. Nice. We need another live at the Hogshead Shed. <laughs> yeah, we can get Leah involved, see if Leah will come back. Um, hang on, Bex likes me, don't put her off. <laughs> You're always on it, Andrew, like, seriously. I've never, like, when we were out, when we were out in the Og's head, I mean, just on it constantly. Andrew's definitely got game. He's definitely got game. Um, right, so yeah, I've done the haul. I've done 36 minutes. So unless anybody, um, unless anybody wants to chat about anything, I think I'm going to start listening. Yeah, may all come to Ireland for a real piss up. <laughs> well, I'm off the beer, so I won't be getting pissed, but I'm on a trip to Ireland. Yeah, I can't remember much about the Ogs Head. I, I seriously have not watched either one of those lives back. I refuse. List while you're live. I'm using my f I, I use my phone. I'm listing right now. Listing is the future. Yeah, I was just saying, Nick, I think I've got to. Especially, um, I think I'm going to change the way I do my days. Because what I'm learning, the kids are on half term. I can't get anything done. And the six weeks are fastly approaching, I think, thinking about five or six weeks. So I think I might have to change, um, I might have to change my routine around sleeping, sleeping in the morning, I think. And then um, stay up all night and do my listing then. Because I just, I can't get anything done with the kids. It, it, I wouldn't say it's impossible, but my, my daughter is the biggest guilt trip person you've ever met in your life. Oh. So you want to do, you want to do eBay. You don't want to play. You're just going to leave your kids alone, are you, Dad? Going to leave your kids alone. She she proper guilt trips me. But yeah, um, I would do listing while, but I do it all through my phone. So yeah, if I want to do any eBay, I've got to do it through my phone. Just another person stays sent to sleep next. Just going to leave. Just going to leave your kids alone. <laughs> she sent. Yeah, she she's fun, but she has like the attitude of a teenager. She really does. Like she, oh, some of the stuff she comes out with. I've thought about doing a live with her because she said she wants to do. She was like, "Can I come on your YouTube channel?" But I think what she'd do, she'd insult people. You have a laptop, stay stream through that. I've said this about the laptop. The only thing I can do with the laptop is turn it on, go on Facebook, press a link through the Facebook chat, and then all of a sudden, um, I'm then on somebody's live. Other than that, I can do nothing. Like Andrew was asking me about me hosting Seller Lads, and I was like, ah, that's just not going to happen. <laughs> That that is not gonna happen. Um, me and Lacey would get on fine. You probably would. She she she's just got such attitude. Um, I love. Never seen that name. Steve O'Brano, class name. I've got a daughter the same. Steve. Late night listening is, yeah, definitely. I've got. A, I'm definitely embracing the late night listening now. But yeah, she's just she's just got so much attitude. I'm trying to think of examples. Well, like she'll just she'll guilt me and her mum into loads of stuff all the time. Like just, I don't know. Like you don't you don't love me, do you? 
Like, what was it today? She wanted a McDonald's for tea. And like, we're not having a McDonald's for tea. Do you not love me? Do you not love me? I'm your daughter. I'm your daughter. And I'm like, you're not having a Mackey's? Oh, oh, okay. I bet if Liam asked for a Mackey's, he'd get a Mackey's. Blah, blah, blah. Like, she proper guilt trips her. You care about Liam more than me. And all, all, all she'll keep saying to me is, you, you're struggling now. You wait till she's 16. Wait till she's 16 and she's giving you so much shit. She gives me like loads of crap now. So she'll, like, she'll just pull back. You're putting weight on. You're putting weight on you, my dad. You just shave that beard. It's all the time. It's just insults constantly. Steve has been on loads of my lives, hasn't he? Sorry, Steve. Huh? I watched your video all this day. She's going to be a handful. She's definitely a handful. Definitely a handful. Um, all right. I think I'm going to have to get some listening done. Or I'll talk to you lovely people until the early hours. Um, talking to kids, I need to go drop mine off at the pool. So we'll catch you all later. Oh, Simon, I, didn't, I thought you were from the UK, Simon. Of course, it sounds like living with me, non-stop abuse. It's constant. It is constant. I mean, uh, it's constant. Like, we'll, we'll, we'll go to her parents' evening. And don't know, she's not a nasty child. She's just, she's, she calls herself sassy. And um, we go to her parents' evening, and she's like, oh, she's, we, I'd have a classroom full of laces. She's, she's really quiet and all this. And I'm like, me and look, shall I look at each other and like, she's really quiet. Yeah, she's, you know, she's really quiet. And when you get around other people, she's really quiet until she gets to know you. But with me and her mum, it's just constant, constant abuse. Not, not abuse in a nasty way, it's just, like, just taking the piss all the time. Are you wearing that shirt again? Didn't you wear that last time? Didn't you wear that the last time you went out? Why are you wearing that hoodie? Like, like proper... But I'll say to show all the time, I'll say to show, don't look all right in this top. And she goes, yeah, you look nice. And I go, oh, that's nice. Like, still look nice in this top. No, I can see man boobs. Just, just constant. Um, right. Okay, was that a joke? <laughs> Steve, we should have a list off, keep each other listing. I keep getting distracted by random stuff by beardy guys on YouTube. <laughs> right, I better go because I need to get this in. So for now, peace out, stay safe, stay beautiful. Thank you very much to um, Shiver Me Tat Timbers or Shiver Timbers of Tat, I think it was. Um, so yeah, I'm in love with you, Nivia. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Thank you very much for all the advice and support and all that jazz. I'll see you in my next video, which I don't know when it is. So, bye-bye.